Our research project is about the Liebert experiment. The Liebert experiment is a very interesting experiment. People are just asked to press a button at a time whenever they wanted to do so. And at the same time, the EEG of them is measured. And we are looking, or the Liebert, what Liebert does is he's looking at the time period before you press the button. So you make a self-initiated voluntary movement. And the question is what happens before. And what you usually see is that up to two seconds before, there's a growing signal in the brain that grows until you press the button. So many people thought that's the idea that, and when you, uh, and that's an important fact, we asked the people on the clock, when exactly did you decide to move? And when they then press the button here, and they report that they obviously, approximately here they decided. But the interesting fact is that the brain signal started before the decision. So this led many people into the belief that there's no such thing like free will, but that it's like the brain is making the decision by itself, later on consciousness kicks in and then finally you do the movement. So we wanted to know, is this really true? And we replicated this, med this experiment with meditators, with experienced meditators. And why did we use meditators? Because meditators are very experienced in internal observation, introspection, and in attending the old processes. And we wanted to know how does this decision time and this decision process comes up. And as a control group, we had non-meditators. And we had a meditator who told us how such a decision develops, that there's first an initial kind of urge to do an action, and that you then kind of take up that action and form it into a decision. So we wanted to see whether this makes a difference. We did the experiment two times with controls and meditators, and both had two versions of the experiment. In the first one, we just told them, press the button whenever you want to press the button. And in the second time, we said, just watch your internal process and press the button then. So in the first version, meditators, the first version is the black line, meditators and controls had the same Liebert curve. But in the second time, when we asked the people to pay attention to the internal processes, the curve played, played, uh, remained the same for the meditators, but it kind of disappeared for the controls. They couldn't go with this internal urge. And we developed a theory why that is so, but it's a little bit complex and that will be part of another publication, another grant, okay? Well, that was very, that for us, this was a very big uh, gain because we had the possibilities to study this uh, Liebert experiment with meditators. And out of that and that experience came many other ideas that kicked the whole new direction in our research group. So we're now doing a lot of research into the field of slow cortical potential and volitional action. And we identify that it's a very important area right now because there are a lot of new discoveries that link together different fields. And this initial grant gave us the possibility to do this with certain professional attitude. Great.